In this last example with the five key approach, I'm going to be solving for an interest rate on a loan. I'm offered $17,400 in eight years in exchange for $9,500 today. So I'm lending $9,500 today. That's a cash outflow. And eight years from now, I'm going to receive back $17,400. That'll be a cash inflow. I'm solving for my interest rate. So I want to set this up using the five key approach. So my N is the eight years. My interest rate is what I'm going to be solving for. My present value is the $9,500 that I'm giving up today. That's got to be negative because it's a cash outflow. There is no annuity stream here, so I zero out my payment. And my future value is the $17,400 that I'm going to be receiving eight years from now. So now I just want to plug that into my calculator go to my five key screen using my time value of money solver my n is eight i'm solving for the interest rate so i skip down from there and remember my present value had to be negative so i want to use this negative key to make that negative 9500 for my present value there is no annuity here so zero that out and 17,400 for my future value. Now I just go up to my interest rate, shift, solve, and I get an interest rate of 7.86%. One thing to be careful about is if you do not make that present value negative, both of these are positive values, you're not gonna get a solution because in order to get an interest rate, the calculator needs to balance out what you're giving up today with what you're getting back in the future.